<laughs> so basically, yeah, you got to the semis yeah, of Eastbourne. Yeah. yeah. If, if that's, if yeah. That's, that's basically. Well, no, more because you beat him. That's all. So, so final. You, so you won it. Yeah, you basically <laughs> won it. You won Eastbourne, mate. <laughs> Before, I, w- I would like to talk about Eastbourne a little bit because you had uh, a very big win. Yeah. Let's not. I mean, <laughs> look, look <laughs> at that cheeky smile. Look, just, you just let's don't go. Talk about it, it's gonna be red. <laughs> um, I know you're looking let's, at me. Like let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it, please. So you beat. Uh, I mean, we're terrible with names, but uh, Sunwoon uh, Kwan, correct? Uh, Good job. You thank you, it. man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I I, I try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but ranked 77 in the world. Um, so c- please, can we can we delve into that? I mean, what what was it like playing? First of all, playing at an ATP 250. Second of all, beating someone who's ranked top 100. I mean, that is that is an absurd. And didn't he get to the semifinals? Like, didn't he get lucky loser or something like That's that? Bananas. He so you beat him in qualies. Then he got lucky loser. I beat him first round in qualies. He was he was the number he was the number one seed in qualies. I played him first round and, and because Eastbourne's the week before Wimbledon um, and there was something weird about the French Open finishing later than normal. So but anyway, some people pulled out of Eastbourne. Um, so there were an abnormal amount of lucky losers. So he didn't even have to win a match and he got a lucky loser in the main draw. And then he got to the center. So, so basically, yeah. you got to the semis of Eastbourne. Yeah, if, if that's, if yeah. that's that's basically. Well, no more because you beat him. That's all. So, so you so you won it. Yeah, you basically won it. You won Eastbourne, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but then you also played some other. You played Duckworth, right, at Eastbourne. Duckworth. Yeah, that was my that was uh, my second round qualies match. So what was so what was it like playing those top players? Like, because that I mean that was the the very start of your you know your transition to pro, and I mean you went to. You went, you know, right for it. Um, I mean, that's like, I mean, that's throwing someone into the fire if I've ever seen it. You know what I mean? Like, that's really like, you know, going from from zero to 100. And, you know, so what was it like kind of stepping on, beating someone who's top 100 and then playing people like Duckworth, you know, people who are well-established, um, like top players, you know, what was that experience like? Did you, were you nervous? Was it, you know? Um... So, my first, the f- I got a very late call um, about the Nottingham Challenger, which was the first grass court event of the year. I played, um, I played Troisky there, Victor Troisky. He's just retired now. This was like his last kind of run. Um, I, <clears throat> I played, I played decent. This was one of the match. This is the match I was talking about, where I was very, you know, up and down. And, uh, a bit like like I was uh, at college, you know, very high intensity, and I wasn't able to keep that through the whole match. But what was very encouraging was um, I was playing very well and playing more than good enough to beat him, which um, which gave me a lot of confidence. You know, I think I was a break up. I maybe had a set point in the first set, um, so I lost that match. I think it might have been five and something or six and something. Maybe seven six uh, six one two. Sorry, seven six six one. Yeah, was it seven six six one? Okay, I think we I know had, our uh, Alistair. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we do our research, mate. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I, I, so. Anyway, in the first set, um, I was I was you know I was doing well. I was I was pretty confident. Um, so then, the rest of that week, I was there training with. Um, I don't know if you the, the couple of other guys like Bemelmans and uh, Borna Gojo and people like that uh, ranked around a hundred or so and and um, yeah I was just kind of uh, taking it all in really um, understanding where my level was um, kind of putting myself you know obviously I hadn't played at that level really just so just putting myself kind of against them and seeing seeing what came out really and um, the following week I went to Queens uh, to play doubles um, we played doubles against uh, Riley Opelka and John Piers and we lost 10-8 in the third in that one um, but all these experiences w- were just were just great for my confidence and I don't think I would have beaten um, Sunwoo 
uh, Qantas, uh, I hadn't had these previous two weeks. Just um, it was a, it was a good confidence booster to know where my level was really. <coughs> um, so then when I played him, uh, Sunwoo, um, uh, you put, you know the score. I can't really remember match. What was the score in that match? That that one I was don't it, know. I, I think I lost know. the first set and then won the next two yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah. You you lost the first one, the next two. I don't. I don't I, we can do a quick yeah. fact check. Um, I have it right here, actually. Yeah, give me a quick fact. Four check. six six two six three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, in the first set, I think he was playing very well, and I think I played one loose service game, which is often the case in on grass. And I think my game suits grass quite well, so you know I come to the net well and. Um, so I just kept I just kept going uh, really, and um, he he really didn't like my slice. I remembered um, has quite a flat backhand. So he, I actually played I actually played Sunwoo Kwan two years ago at the Surbiton Challenger. So I kind of had a vague idea <coughs> how he played like him, but I watched a lot of, I watched a lot of um, videos of him before that match, obviously, and. Um, Oh, it was great. Yeah, I mean, I uh, well, I was actually was it six three in the third set? Yeah, uh, six three. Yeah, I was so I was five two up, uh, love forty on his serve, and uh, <laughs> I just <laughs> myself. I I was, um, I was I was nervous for sure, but I I, I didn't do much wrong. Like he had a good serve, love forty, and then he was kind of out of it at this point. He he hit a serve and a slap to four and serve and slap to four and all of a sudden it was juice and um then I had another match point I think in that game and didn't take it so now I've got so now it's five three and I'm serving having had <clears throat> I think four match points which isn't easy you know I mean I think I went love 15 down in that in that game as well um so yeah I did well to to steady the boat there and and uh come through that holding my nerve um but yeah i mean then i played duckworth and and then i think i lost four and six i think you can fact check that. yeah you well it's interesting because you played duckworth and then you played ivashka um after that and what's interesting is both matches you lost you went three six against duckworth in the first and then you went two six against ivashka in the first but both matches in the second set you went six seven Mm. Yeah. Like so, you set percentage zero in this tournament. Huh? <laughs> for, for set percentage. <laughs> no, but but it's interesting because both of these players are like top players. Yeah. Um, well established pros. Yeah, with like experience. big names. Um, and against both of these, you did significantly better in the second set. Um, so what was I mean? What's like kind of the mindset there? Did you were you tight in the first set and then you kind of realized okay, I can loosen up. Um, in the second, or did, is it more of like you figured out their games? Like, what was the? Um, you know, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think in Sunwoo Kwon's video, uh, in Sunwoo Kwon's match, um, I think he started very well. I think I was very surprised by his ball speed. Uh, he has a very good forehand, um, and his serve is like very accurate and um, stays low. You know, especially on grass. So. I think it took me a while to get used to his style um, and be able to, you know, get used to his ball speed, really. Um, and then I managed to slow the pace down on my slice, which, as I said earlier, I don't think he liked. Um, with Duckworth, um, I remember not serving well at all. Um, I would I would serve very patchy um, in in my in a lot of my matches at the time. It's something I've been working on a lot recently. Um, <clears throat> just the, the rhythm uh, just kind of went away from me. I remember in a couple of service games and all of a sudden that's a set, you know, he's got a great serve, Duckworth. So um, it was difficult to break him, um, but I think I did late in the second. I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, in that match, I mean, at that level, it's just the, the smallest of margins, isn't it really? Especially on grass. Um, so... I, yeah, as I say, just just a loose service game in the first, and then battled hard, and in the second, I managed to get it to a tiebreak, and then uh, I remember I missed a couple of balls by an inch or so, and and that's it really. I mean, that's that's all that's in it, um, which which again gives me confidence because it's I realise that I'm I'm able to 
compete and beat uh, these guys, albeit on grass, you know. Um, I think things are a lot more... Um, not up to chance, but it, it's a bit of a level of grass, you know, when when people haven't played on it all year round, and all of a sudden there's a couple of tournaments on it. Um, but um, Ivashka, I remember I started horrendously. I, my head was... Uh, uh, my head wasn't in a good place. We we were, we, it had been raining a lot in Eastbourne and we, we were put on a practice court to play and and we couldn't stand up. Like it was, uh, um, it was like muddy when we were playing on it. Um, my, I should have dealt with that better. Um, I don't think he was dealing with it well either, but um, I dealt with it worse than him. Um, and, he's, and he's better than me, so that doesn't help either. Um, but um, I, yeah, I mean, I... I just, I just don't think I started well against Shabashka. I think I, I battled well in the majority of the matches that I play, which I think is the reason that I got, I managed to get to the tie breaks in the last, in those two sets. Um, but you know, just key things to take away from from those things for me is is that yeah, they're better than me, and um, I'll learn a lot from the from the experience and you know what they do well and stuff like that. But also that. The margin's really, really, really fine, um, and uh, that's where taking care of the little details will take you a long way uh, because of how fine the margins are.